Hi everybody and welcome to Devotions Today. Well, it's the third day of a new year and I hope the year is going well for you so far. Well, cheers, cheers and everything of the best for every day of the year that lies ahead. Well, this substance that I have in my hand is one of the most important things for human life. It's water. Very essential. As we go into this new year, there's a long road ahead. And I don't know if you've ever been really thirsty. I've never been desperately thirsty at the point of of illness or almost expiring. But you know, when I've been on long cycle rides or I've been hiking in, in, in the mountains, there have been times when I've been, been very thirsty. And there's only one thing that will satisfy that. I need to keep my tank full of water. And uh, as we go into this new year, there's a long road ahead. It's a marathon. And we need to keep our tanks full. And it's important in a a physical journey, to have the water that we need. Because the symptoms of dehydration are not funny. They are uncomfortable. You, you, be, you can even develop a fever. You begin to get headaches. Uh, you get digestive problems. You have muscle cramps. You get this terrible fatigue. You feel lightheaded. There's just this weakness in your body. You get shaky. You even get anxious and depressed and, and sometimes in extreme cases even chest pain. And so dehydration is not a comfortable experience. Um, important to keep your tank well filled so that you can go the distance. Well, there is a deeper, a deeper spiritual thirst. And the Bible um, often uh, talks about this thirst because we don't need to only need to keep our physical tanks full of water, our bodies with all the necessary water, because we're sixty percent water. Some of our bodies, like our brain, I believe, is about eighty percent water. Well, we need that water, but we need also that deeper spiritual supply, so that our tanks will be full to meet the challenges that lie ahead of us. There's some beautiful verses in the Bible. For example, when Jesus uh, met the woman at the well, he said to her, whoever drinks the water that I will give will never thirst. It will become in him or in her a spirit of water welling up to eternal life. The psalmist says in, in Psalm 42, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. And the prophet says, come, all you who are thirsty, come to the water and drink. And then Jesus, when he was at the Feast of Tabernacles, on the last day of the feast, he stood up, we are told, and uh, he said, if anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, streams of living water will flow from within. And by this he meant the Spirit. So there is a supply for our spiritual thirst. Because when we become spiritually dehydrated, we also begin to get some we also begin to get symptoms. Not always immediately, and they're not always apparent to us, but they begin to accumulate. For example, there's an inner restlessness within us, a discomfort, a feeling that things aren't right. There's a weakness that comes upon us, so we give in to destructive emotions and to destructive temptations. We have a sense of being lost or confused. There's a purposelessness. There's an emptiness within us. And sometimes guilt gets a hold of us. And there's a long list of these dehydration, spiritual dehydration symptoms that they come. When everything's going well in life and so on, that can be fine. But suddenly... We find ourselves dehydrated. So how do we quench that thirst? Well, there have been centuries of thought about quenching our spiritual thought, but I'd just like to mention a few things. 
um, at the beginning of this year. The first one is to be to find time to be still, just to be still and to be quiet and to be with God. You haven't got to say anything, just be there with God. And then open your heart to him and pray. Pray Jesus. Jesus, come. Holy Spirit, come. Father, come. Come and fill me. And then thank God for his love. That he loves, he actually loves you. And thank him for his mercy. That you are healed and cleansed, restored and forgiven. You are his daughter, his son. And then in your life, live in keeping with the leading of the movement of the Spirit in your heart and in obedience to God's law of love. May God bless you and may he help you to keep your tank full. And I would say to you, cheers to that. He's our good shepherd and we shall not want. God bless you as you go forward into this new year. Amen.